when Nebraska's losing, the entire state is down. You can really feel it around town. People are kind of depressed and wondering how the next game's going to go and how the team's going to respond. If you just put a knife in your gut and turn it, you know, it's something like that. It just takes everything out of your soul. <laughs> it's ridiculous because we know it's just a game and these are just kids playing football, but it's important. In the last 50 years, Nebraska has won more football games than any other D1 school in the country. And since 1962, the Cornhuskers have had only two losing seasons, both under former head coach Bill Callahan. People just expected nine win seasons. People expected bowl games. People expected Nebraska to be near the top of the Big 12 Conference every year and most every year to be in the top 10 and competing for a national championship. It's rough, and it's not just rough for, for the players, the coaches, but it's rough for the fans also because, uh, you know, so many people you watch our games and, and really look up to this program and just uh, kind of base their everyday life off us. The thing that had really gone south on us was our defense. You know, we were giving up 40, 50, 60, and we had some very bad losses. But defense was only part of the problem. Callahan installed the West Coast offense, which ran counter to decades of Husker success with the option, an offense that had been adopted by high schools statewide. He also recruited out of state and minimized the walk-on program, further impacting Nebraska football tradition. When Bill Callahan came in here, it's not that he didn't know football, he's a very smart football mind, uh, but he tried to bring a different culture here, a different way of doing things, and it wasn't just, hey, here's the West Coast offense. There was a lot of different ways in which he went about uh, handling his business, and it just didn't really work. In 2007, Callahan finished his fourth season with a 5-7 and seven record. New athletic director Tom Osborne, who spent 25 years as the Huskers head coach and won three national titles, knew it was time for a change. Bo Pelini had been here as an assistant under Frank Solich, in 2003. So Bo was highly recommended, particularly as a defensive coach, and that's what we needed to fix more than anything. There was a sense of really disarray, not as much with just the football program, but the whole atmosphere around the, the program and certain things that I felt were necessary to move the program forward, improve, and, and get better as a football team. And really that's what we concentrated on. Nebraska over the years had developed a certain identity and Part of it was the walk-on program, part of it was the strength program, part of it was the conditioning program, and just that kind of that blue-collar mentality. There needed to be a special emphasis placed on that. He came in and uh, didn't take any crap from anybody and uh, pretty much set the tone on the first day that this was his program and he's going to run it how he wants it, and if you don't like it, get out. Polini didn't waste any time. In 2008 and 2009, Nebraska won at least nine games and a share of the Big 12 North title. Now, in his third year as head coach, the Huskers have only dropped one game this season. He's done some amazing things in not very much time, and I think the number one thing is he has his team believing they're going to win every single time they take the field. It's been amazing what Bo Pelini has brought back to Nebraska. If he wanted to run for governor, he'd be elected. For the most part, it is just so good to have a nice Nebraska work ethic. Coming down, you can see the difference in the players. You know, you watch the games and you're proud again. The state's happier when Nebraska's doing well.